Hello. Good afternoon. My name is Wu Ying. I'm going to tell you a story about Chinese New Year today. We know Chinese New Year is the oldest and most important traditional festival for Chinese people all over the world. Chinese people also call this festival Spring Festival because it means the beginning of spring. Do you know in Chinese language, this festival is also called Nian. Nian, N-I-A-N. You'd better remember this word well because I'm going to mention it quite a lot today. Many people know Nian means the year but not many people, not even the Chinese people, know that Nian was the name of a monster who lived in ancient China. So today I'm going to tell you a story about this monster Nian. After the story, maybe you will be able to tell me what traditions nowadays for celebrating Chinese New Year actually started from this story today and in the end we can learn some Chinese together. We are going to learn how to say Happy New Year in Chinese. Here's a story. Long, long ago, deep down in the sea, there lived a ferocious monster named Nian. Does anyone know what it looked like? Have you ever seen a picture of Nian? Actually, nobody knows what it really looked like. But it is said this monster was half dragon, half unicorn, some even say half lion with sharp teeth and horns. So here I have a picture of Nian. Sus, can you see the sharp teeth and the horn? But I'm sure it actually looked much more ferocious than this cute one. Throughout the year, this monster would sleep soundly deep down the sea until the Lunar New Year arrived. In China in the past, people used a different calendar from ours now that is Lulan calendar. The dates of Chinese New Year are decided according to Lulan calendar. So that's why the dates for Chinese New Year each year are different. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, normally in January and uh, Feb or February. So this year it would be next week, next Friday. On the eve of every Lunar New Year, this monster would wake up from his deep sleep and come out of the sea and attack the villages and towns to hunt for food. Wherever he went, he would devour the grain, gobble up the livestock. Guess what his favorite dish was? children. Any children he found would disappear. People were so scared of Nian, they tried all sorts of ways to fight against this monster. Many brave warriors tried to kill the monster with spears, bows and arrows but with no success. 
just a single whip of his tail could wipe out dozens of men. Many people had died. No one knew how to fend it off. In the end, people did the only thing they could to lock up and hide until Nian had passed. Therefore, every time before the New Year's Eve, people would escape to remote mountains to avoid Nian's attack. Things took a turn from another New Year's Eve. In one village, when all the villagers were busy packing to take refuge in the mountains, there came a stranger. He was old, with long white beard and bright piercing eyes. He was a beggar in rags, walking with a stick. I also have a picture of this old man. <clears throat> Maybe you cannot see his bright piercing eyes very well, but you definitely can see his white beard. So he saw the villagers were shuttering their doors and windows and packing parcels for life necessities. Many livestock had to be left behind. Everything was in a scene of chaos and everyone was panicking. The villagers saw him and some kindly warned him. Go hide somewhere. Go. Run. Nian is coming. He will eat you if he sees you. However, the old man shook his head and said, You can't go hiding like this every time. You should fight with a monster. Of course, the villagers told him how hard they had tried and how invincible this monster was. The old man smoothed his beard and said, This monster has a weakness, and I know his secret. I can help you if you do as I say. <clears throat> In the end, the villagers decided to trust the old man and stay with him to fight the monster. The old man told the villagers to take out everything red they had, red paint, red fabric, and red paper, and get bonfires ready in the gardens and on street corners, and, and etc., etc. Everyone in the village got busy painting the outside of their houses with red paint, hanging up red curtains and sheets, and the bonfires were ready in the gardens and on street corners. At night, when Nian came stomping hungrily towards the village, he sensed a subtle change of atmosphere. In the past, the entire village was in dead darkness and silence. But this time, it seemed something had changed. He moved on slowly but came to an abrupt stop when he entered the village. He saw the whole, the whole village glowing with red, 
the bright red walls and the red fabric and the paper fluttering in the wind, the blazing flames of the bonfire flaring wildly in the wind. The monster trembled and squalled, glaring at all these strange things. Angrily, he charged to one front door. At that moment, he heard the most ear-splitting noise. Firecrackers erupted into the sky all around him. The villagers rushed out from all houses, dancing up and down the streets, banging the lids together, and hitting saucepans with spoons, and making as much loud noise as possible. The monster was terribly frightened. He turned around, and fled all the way to the sea. And never came back. So, in order to celebrate the victory over the monster, when morning came, people changed into new clothes and visited neighbors to congratulate each other and share the joy. The news spread, and everyone had learned. Had learned the ways to defending against the monster. So that's the end of the story. Now I'd like to share with you some slides. Here's the children wearing new clothes and、uh, with firecrackers. And、uh, this is people. Visiting each other on Chinese New Year. Since then, the story of the Nian Xing, many traditions are inherited until today. So, can you tell me what traditions you know about Chinese New Year actually started from this story? Red. Red has become the most popular color for Chinese New Year celebration. During Chinese New Year, people would paste red spring couplets, put up red decorations, and put on red clothes. You see, I have put on my red jumper and red earrings, especially for today. What else about red? Red packets. On Chinese New Year, children would get red packets from adults with money in them. It's a shame we can't meet at Fitzwilliam Museum this for this family first Saturday. But next Chinese New Year, when we have left this horrible. Covid nineteen virus behind. Let's hope we can visit the museum together, and probably everyone would be able to get a red packet. So, what other traditions we have? Fireworks. In the early days, people would light candles and burn bamboos. In later days, when people knew how to make firecrackers, they would set off firecrackers to ward off all the evil spirits. Then later, about fifteen or twenty years ago, there was a firework ban because people are worried about the environment and the safety. It could cause pollution, and it could be dangerous too. But many other people are worried, are not happy about this firework ban, because they are worried the traditional culture is losing. 
Now fireworks are allowed in most places, but there are still lots of rules to make sure it's safe and not harming the environment too much. Okay. What other tradition people would stay up until the next day, that is the new year, to expel Nian or any other evil spirits and also to welcome the new year. Of course, there are still many other traditions about Chinese New Year, such as what to eat, what food to eat, what other things you are supposed to do and what you shouldn't do. Uh, but these here are from the story of Nian. Now, it's time to learn some Chinese. Nian, yeah, that's the Nian monster. Remember, it means the monster and it also means year, year. That's how the strokes, if you want to learn how to write, that's the order of strokes. This is Happy New Year in Chinese characters. I'm sure some of you already know how to read it, how to say it. Let's see, let's try here the pronunciations on top of these characters. We can try. Xin, Nian, Hao, Xin, Nian, Hao. So, Xin means new. Nian means year, not monster here. Hao means good. Let's say together. Xin, Nian, Hao. Chinese New Year would last for 15 days. So in the next couple of weeks, when you see any Chinese, if you say Xin Nian Hao to them, I'm sure they would be very happy. And they would say Xin Nian Hao back to you as well. Now let's end our story session by wishing everyone Xin Nian Hao. So we say Xin Nian Hao, Xin Nian Hao. Bye-bye.